When we appeared on the Food Network channel, we shared our family recipes with millions of people, and now we're happy to share them with you. So welcome to Mary Jo's Tamales. Pull up a seat and let's get started. Hello, my karma babies. How are you? Now, before I even start, you know that you might be hearing a little something from my kitty cat. It is what it is. Every time I start a video, he thinks that I'm uh, actually talking to him. So he kind of uh, starts meowing. <laughs> so listen, I wanted to share my meal with you today. And what I have is I have some uh, turkey necks. Let me put a little of this sauce on top of here. I had to get ready for you guys. So there he goes. I told you it was going to happen, didn't I? Okay, so I have turkey necks. And this is what they look like. Um, it's turkey. And then I have some black eyed peas with some okra. Have you ever had black eyed peas before, my karma babies? This is the okra on top. And then I have some uh, green onion on there. And then I made some jalapeno kimchi cornbread. Jalapeno kimchi cornbread. Can you believe it? You can see the jalapenos in there. Can you see the jalapeno in there? And I've got kimchi. I got some butter on the side because I'm going to put some butter on here. And as usual, guys, I have my Frank's Red Hot. I am hungry as usual. I always wait to the last minute. I put this in this bowl hoping that you'll be able to see it better. So, um, yeah, I'm eating turkey necks. Um, you may be very familiar with turkey necks. I'm going to try not to make a lot of noise with my utensils. Um, you may be used to turkey necks when you, you know, when you cook a turkey. Um, and you get the one little neck in there because there's only one neck to a turkey. <laughs> but you can also buy them in packaging. You can buy um, a whole package of them and cook them. Let me show you what it looks like. This is all turkey meat. It's very, very delicious. And I'm going to take a bite of this because I'm so hungry. Karma babies. If you've never had this, you're missing out. It is delicious. And it's very good for you. It's like I said, it's turkey. And oh, it's just so good. Look at that. It's this is all turkey meat. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that, babies. Look at that. Hmm? That's turkey. Mmm. If you make this, I know that you're going to love it. All you have to do to make it is boil it. Mm-hmm. And then I put salt, pepper, but to give it this added delicious flavor, I added um, one packet of all juice. It's A-U-J-U-S. I added a pack of that in there. And you basically cover your meat, you know, like you're boiling. Well, I don't know if you've ever had neck bones or anything like that, but. You basically cover your meat. And I put the one pack of all juice. And then I put one pack of uh, Lipton onion soup. This is flavor 
flavor that is just really amazing. And here's my, show you my jalapeno kimchi cornbread. This is our jalapeno kimchi cornbread. You can see the jalapenos in there. We're about to cut it and have a slice. You can see some jalapenos there and the kimchi is cooked inside of here. When my husband tasted this bread, he said, you know what, you could sell this bread. <laughs> and I don't know if you're familiar with okra, how okra looks, but let me try to show it to you. A lot of people have to get an, have an acquired taste for okra. It's a vegetable and it's kind of, Mm, I don't know how to say it. You know, you cook it a lot of times in, um, a lot of folks cook it in, um, in gumbo. No. It has a real kind of slippery taste. Mm hmm And then let me show you my, uh, black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are awesome. I love, they're, they're one of my favorite peas. And I made these from dry. You buy them in the bag for, you know, a dollar or something. It's not that expensive. Let me show you my black eyed peas. Can you see those black eyed peas? They call them black eyed peas because they got like a little black dot right there. <laughs> Can you see them? That's the black eyed peas. And they are good. Yes. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is mix in my my okra and then you're going to take your cornbread and you mix it in to your uh to your black eyed peas. You mix it in and it just makes it taste really good. This is kind of like a soul food kind of a dish that we make and mm, it is good so let me see if i can show you what a turkey neck looks like and it's really not that expensive okay see it's a turkey neck and all of that is meat Lean, delicious meat. And you really have to kind of eat it with your, you could eat it with a fork like I was doing because I cooked this till it was basically falling off the bone. So take it and you kind of go like this. Mmm, <laughs> that's how you're going to get the meat out. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's kind of how you get the meat off. You just kind of suck the meat off the bone. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And see, you get down to the bone. I want you guys to try this. Don't be scared. Give it a try. It is delicious. And then you eat a little bit of your black eyed peas with your cornbread. Can you see that? Mmm. That cornbread has like I said, jalapeno peppers in it, kimchi, all flavors that I really like. Mm -hmm. Can you see the, look at all that's meat. 
And if you cook it the way that I just told you, you will be a happy camper. I don't think I even said, asked you guys how you were doing today. I was wanting to get into this so bad. And welcome to all the new subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the support. I love it. And if this is your first time on my channel, I hope you enjoy this and I hope that you will subscribe and become part of our family. Mm. See? That's all meat. That's neat. Mm. Um, you just clean that bone. <laughs> really delicious, I tell you. Look at this. All meat. Healthy for you is turkey. Can you see that? Yes. Yummy, yum. Mm. It's falling off the bone. Just tender and falling off of the bone. You know, I go in the kitchen and I just start cooking and I just start adding things and I'm just going to drink water guys. <clears throat> I just start adding things and I just start coming up with different flavor profiles and it seems to work out most of the time, you know, most of the time because you taste your food as you're going along, you know. You're not going to just go in there and just start throwing things together, you know. You know that, um, well, the uh, juice is usually used in uh, beef, like when they make beef sandwiches. And they use this a powder. It comes in a package. It comes in a package, and you can buy it at any store. Hmm. Um, it's very, it gives it food a really, really good flavor. Look at this, guys. Look at that. That's all turkey. Turkey. And it's falling off the bone. Look at this. I can just break it like that. Look at that hot sauce there. Look at that. All turkey. All turkey guys. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is the kind of food, excuse me, that will put muscle on your body. <laughs> It makes you strong. Mm. Mm. Um, well, we did the drawing. For the, the, the reef, the first time I've made, um, I'm going to be making a karma, karma reef for someone. Um, and 
And guys, I had a really hard time uh, getting someone because a lot of you karma babies, um, you know, you subscribed and you did everything, but you forgot to like the video. And that was just one of the stipulations to like the video. So it took me a long time to find someone, but I found someone who did have all three categories taken care of. And that was, um, oops, that was, um, she had liked, liked the video, subscribed, and she had just typed on, on the comments, enter, enter me. So, mm -mm. What meat are you going to get that is this tender? Mm. And so flavorful. Cook it the way that I told you how to cook it. Mm. Your family is going to be like in seventh heaven. They are going to be very, very happy. Mm-hmm. I don't mean to hit that like that guy, but I tell you, this is so good that you know. Some of you guys say that I enjoy. Look at that! Look at that gravy! Look at the gravy in here! Oh my goodness! The gravy just tastes spectacular, even if I didn't have the meat. Um, you guys say that I seem to really enjoy my food. Well, can I say that <laughs> I do enjoy my food? <laughs> I cook foods that I like, that I think my family's going to like. Look at this. Mm. Turkey neck. Very, very good. Look how it just falls apart. Tender. You really get satisfaction of your food when you eat turkey necks. <laughs> I have a sister-in-law. You know, me and my husband have been married for 50 years. And I have a sister-in-law who eats turkey necks almost every Sunday. Not all, not always, but you know, it's a very big part of her diet. Very big part. See the, the cornbread? Jalapeno kimchi cornbread. I made um, uh, the cornbread, what I did was Look at that. You can see the jalapenos in there. It gives it a little kick, makes it a little spicy. And what I did, I made, I used Jiffy Mix. Just Jiffy Mix. Excuse me, guys. I used Jiffy Mix, and it's, you know, Jiffy Mix is a sweet bread, right? <clears throat> A lot of times I make my own bread because it's so, so easy. But I wanted to try the kimchi and the jalapenos in there. And I knew the kimchi has that really pungent vinegary taste. 
and I thought it would go excellent with the sweet cornbread. It, they would kind of balance each other off, you know? It's almost, it's like East meeting West, but in some cornbread. <laughs> I have the Asian flair of the kimchi, and I have the jalapenos, you know, and I have the Mississippi or Southern cornbread. So it's like East meeting West in a, a slice of cornbread. Um, the, the sweetness of the cornbread and then the vinegary taste of the kimchi because the kimchi is basically fermented cabbage and sometimes it's too strong to eat depending on what you're eating it with but putting it into that cornbread sweet cornbread man that is some good cornbread oh look at this beautiful turkey neck here i'm trying to get some of the juice off look at that i've just got a bowl full of juice you know i can just take my cornbread and dunk it in there and i'm going to look at that turkey neck look at that that is awesome and it just look at this look at this look at that just fall off the bone well, put it in your mouth, give it a little suck on it, get all the juices, and the meat comes right off. You'll be surprised at how much meat is on a turkey neck, especially when that's your meat, you know? Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. You know, one of my karma babies said, she gets a kick out of me saying, this is so good. <laughs> because I literally can't help it. I have to say it's so good. If it's good, it's so good. So Oh my goodness. Mm. I just want you to try this. And I want you to make it the way that I am telling you to make it because look at that. That's turkey. Mm. Mm. Goodness. And you can safely eat this because it's nice turkey, you know? Good for you. Mm. Just taking the bones out. Let's take, let's dunk our, look at that. We're going to dunk our kimchi mm. Mm -hmm. my goodness oh and the jalapeno kicks in my goodness mm -hmm. black eyed peas okra look at the okra <laughs> Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have to stop eating. I'm going to have to stop myself because I'm going to eat this one last one. I've eaten almost the whole bowl of them. I've done a job. Look at this. Look at the meat. Just look at the meat. Mm. All meat. Look at that. Just mm. go. Just go to the store, Walmart, or 
your local grocery store and look for a Well, you know what, my karma babies? I was in such a big hurry to get to start eating. <laughs> I forgot to get a thumbnail. So let's see if we can get a thumbnail with this. Let's see. We're going to go. Mmm. These are so good. I think I'm going to... I'm going to have to force myself to stop eating. Mmm. 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 So good. Um, so guys, I'm going to make myself stop eating. Um, I want you to really want you to make this. This is one of the best meals I've ever made. With the seasonings, the a juice and Lipton onion soup. Mm. It is flavor, flavor packed. I kid you not. So, as I said, I'm gonna finish the video now and I want you to remember this as always. How others treat you is their karma. How you respond is your karma. And karma babies, I want you to know that I am receiving, receiving, receiving all of that love that you guys are generating in my direction and I hope that you can feel the love that's coming from me to you and I've had folks say to me um, you know what I never had a grandma before or you remind me of my grandmother or I wish you were my grandmother well you know what I am I am your Granny Karma, I am your grandmother. I am um, someone that enjoys sitting, talking with you, finding out about you, and having a meal with you. So I hope you continue to come and be a part of the family. I hope you bring along other parts of your family. And, you know, it's just a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, before I go, um, we did do the drawing, and Sweetie Pie 1018 was, was the winner, and um, I'm going to put up a video stating that, but I'm just going to reiterate, uh, if you see this video, get in contact with me because I'm unable to contact you because I didn't see any videos or anything out there or how to you know, to send you a private message. So I just want to get it out there so that we can get started on making your wreath for you. And also, I want to give a shout out to one of my karma babies. His name is Jay Tapa. Let's go show him some love, karma babies. Tapa, I believe, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right, Jay. Uh, Jay asked me to give him a shout out. He said that him and all of his buddies um, that he hangs out with or works with in the Philippines, that they watch my videos and that they uh, find comfort in my videos. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, you know, and I've learned so much from him already, just as I've learned from all of you. Um he commented on the um, the crawfish um, the crawfish video that I did that he's never had crawfish and that they're very rare over in the Philippines. Well, I didn't know that. I never, I just never thought about it. You know, I know that they their seafood is a part of their culture, and so I just assumed that crawfish would be too, but it's not. You know. 
And so thanks for, you know, giving me that lesson. I mean, I'm learning new things. I'm learning uh, about different people and I'm just enjoying myself. I'm having a really good time and I hope you guys are too. And um, you know what? I'm going to have to get off of this video because <laughs> you know me. I will talk, talk, talk you to death. Um, I hope you enjoyed this meal and I hope you come back for many, many more and I love you, my karma babies. I love you. And until I see you in the next video, I'm out of here. Bye-bye now, babies.